In these problems, we are combining like terms, uh, some of which have exponents. And the trick here is that the exponents matter. Uh, a term is not a like term unless it has the same letters with the same exponents. So if you look at this first one, here's a term, 7x to the sixth y. It is not a like term with 3xy because the x is not to the sixth power here. It is a like term with this one. So those two are like terms. Now let's go ahead and combine those. We have a positive 7 and a negative 4 x to the sixth y. So that's going to be a 3, just adding the 7 and the negative 4, x to the sixth y. So th that part is done. Let's look at the next part. We have xy terms. So a positive 3xy and a positive 7xy. 3 plus 7 is 10. So that's 10xy. And then what's left over is a 1 and a negative 7. You add those together, you get a negative 6. And that is our simplified answer. Let's try another one. This one's just written slightly differently. We have two uh, sets of parentheses, but there's a plus sign between them. So really, we can just find the terms in each one that are the same and add them together. The only trick here is they're trying to make you um, get confused. You've got an x squared y cubed term and then an x cubed y squared term. Those are different. In this one, the x is squared. and this one, the x is cubed. Um, so let's go and look for an x squared y cubed term anywhere else in here. That's x cubed. Aha, so that is x squared y cubed. And both of these are positive 3. So we can just add those together, 6x squared y cubed. And then our next term here, 3x cubed y squared. Actually, let's cross those out. Ah, here's an x cubed y squared. Again, those are positive 3, so we'll have a 6. And actually, I'm going to write this in front of this one. Because typically, we, we use alphabetical order, and then the highest powers usually go first. Technically, it doesn't matter. It means the same thing, but more often, you'll see it written this way. So I'm going to put the 6x cubed y squared uh, to the left here in front. So that part is done. And what we have left is xy terms. Those are also like terms, a positive 7 and a negative 5. That comes out to be a positive 2xy. All right, let's try one more. This one is also a little tricky because they are switching around the order of the letter, letters here. Um, as long as the letters are the same with the same powers, they're like terms no matter what order the letters appear in. So let's look at this one carefully. We have x to the fifth, y to the fifth, t. This one, we have y to the fifth, t, x to the fifth. Well, the x and y are both to the fifth, and the t is to the first power. So these are actually the same. Those are like terms. And here we have t, x to the fifth, y to the Well, that's a like term as well with those two, because t is to the first power, x and y to the fifth powers. So all three of these terms can be combined. They're like terms. When I write them, I'll put the, them in um, alphabetical order. So I'll probably use what well, with the highest power of x first. So I'll probably use this uh, format of it. But I've got a negative 5, a negative 8, a negative 8. I think that adds up to negative 21. x to the fifth, y to the fifth, t. And then what's left over is just this negative 2t. There's nothing to combine it with, so we just tack it on at the end. So that's a little bit of work with combining like terms with exponents.